of poetry. One more hand, please, for Betsy Binsmark. And now we move on to our second guest feature this morning, being Thea Hopkins. Thea grew up in the Shrewsbury, Worcester area of Massachusetts and acknowledged that she was a little bookworm as a child. And she started writing poetry as well in childhood, which later evolved into writing songs. In writing songs, Thea has uh, noted that she has been inspired by folk and rock songwriters, but also by short story writers. And it shows in her songs and the stories in them. She has performed her songs throughout New England at places like Club Passim, Tupelo Music Hall, and she has gone beyond to the Sundance Film Festival, New York City, and LA. And she has also been played on air of commercial and non-commercial radio. She writes songs that have her covered by the likes of Peter, Paul, and Mary, who recorded her song, Jesus on the Wire, and described her as one of the most literate, emotionally moving, and poetic of singer-songwriters on the scene. And Thea stated when asked about one of her favorite moments in sharing her songs was when she was contacted by a 12-year-old girl out in California who asked if she could share Jesus on the Wire with her whole seventh grade class. When asked why songs are important, Thea said, we need songs because songs incorporate two aspects of our being simultaneously, the literal and the emotional. And I look forward to hearing all that she has to share in her songs and her words today. Please help me give a warm welcome to Thea Hopkins. Thumbs up? Great. Well, good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I want to thank Cheryl for the lovely introduction, and it was wonderful to hear Betsy. Uh, I've never heard her poetry before. And uh, I'm going to start off here with a song of mine called uh, Lilac Sky. Roof, diner where we met last 
sit here drinking to forget tell me where does love go when it runs off everybody being here considering to the fact that uh, today is May 21st <laughs> you know probably a lot of things we all could have been doing instead of being here today but it's nice we chose to be here as uh, Cheryl mentioned um, um, Peter Paul and Mary recorded uh, my song Jesus is on the wire and um, it uh, never fails to astound me that uh, that they recorded the song and that it's uh, had as much resonance as it's had uh, with people. And um, uh, th that uh, was a wonderful thing that a little 12-year-old girl contacted me and uh, really just wanted to share that song with her with her classmates uh, a few years ago. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sing it right now. Run down church, red clay, river covered in a smoky haze. Sunday morning, the fire's out. Sunday morning. Said that he was gonna 
die. Jesus is on the wire. So far away, higher and higher. Sometimes at night, you hear the sound of cars. Stop where he was found. A small white cross, Wyoming skies mark the place where that boy died. Jesus is on the so far away, higher and higher, Jesus is on the wire. So far away, higher and higher. Thank you. Thank you. So people often ask me how Peter, Paul, and Mary got the song. And um, the way it happened is I entered a song contest that Neil Paul Stuckey has through his public domain foundation every, every few years. And I sent the song in. And um, it wasn't one of... Uh, the winners, and it wasn't even one of the finalists. But um, a few months after the contest ended, I got this email, and it was all in lowercase letters. And it started out, hi, I'm the tall balding guy in the middle of Peter, Paul, and Mary. And uh, we love your song. Um, can we bring it to America? And I thought to myself, I think I'm going to faint. <laughs> and I thought, am I having an out-of-body experience? And then I immediately emailed him back, yes. And so they started performing it, and then they uh, recorded it. So I just recommend that everybody enter song contests because you just never know what's going to happen. You know. This next song, it's um, <clears throat> it's called Jenny Danced. Jenny danced as a child like a holy roller to an angel choir pirouetting right after school just before dinner that was a rule and in a world out of balance Jenny learned to dance Jenny Slept in a small bed While her folks thought over her head She would be dreaming in three-quarter time Learning to turn Stop on a dime In a world out of balance Jenny learned to dance This dark house Fly away Away from this dark house Fly away Away from this dark house 
Jenny wasn't listening when her mother said, Your daddy's leaving God a riddance to him. She was trying on her toe shoes and tying them up where they wouldn't come loose in this world out of balance. Jenny learned to dance. Fly away, away from the stars. is a, a song I wrote a couple of years ago. It's on my my album, Chickasaw, and I, I have a few copies with me here today, um, if anyone's interested. And um, I was pl I played that song a couple of years ago when I was out in uh, Illinois. And as I was playing that song, there were, there were two women that were sitting in the front row. And every time I would finish a verse, they would turn and stare at each other with these totally astonished expressions on, on their faces. And so, uh, needless to say, by the end of the, the song, I was very curious as to what was, you know, going on. And um, so, um, after I finished my set, they came up to me and one of them said, you don't know it, but you just sang about my entire life. She said, my name is Jenny. I was raised as a holy roller. Um, my parents were divorced as, as a child, when I was a child, and um, I studied ballet. So when I wrote that song, I, I thought, well, you know, I'm looking for something, uh, you know, I'm just creating a story, an image in my mind, but little did I know, it turned out to be absolutely true, so songwriters beware. <laughs> This next song, it's uh, called Little White Church, and um, I always like to dedicate this song to anyone that has uh, an anniversary coming up uh, or recently uh, celebrated a wedding anniversary. I recently celebrated my 11th wedding anniversary, and um, I recommend a marriage if you are of the marrying mind. If not, ignore that advice. <laughs> In a little white church In a little white church A boy and a girl Gonna change their world Gonna take a vow and kneel down Like they've never knelt before there's a little white church where prayers are heard When the world won't listen anymore In a red, red dress In a red, red dress The night that she kissed him Her dreams were wearing thin Summer night when the air was tight and hot against her skin In a red, red dress she kissed him The stars shining bright as tin Cans and string tied to a bumper swing Dusty road. 
There's a little white church where prayers are heard When the world won't listen anymore In a hotel room, in a hotel room, a bride and a groom, in a hotel room, wondering how they ever found each other on this earth. There's a little white church where prayers are heard. A little white church where prayers are heard. A little white church where prayers are heard. When the world won't listen. When the world won't listen. When the world won't listen. I'm going to do one more uh, song here, and I want to thank Cheryl for inviting me to be here today, and I want to thank you all for listening, and um, I'm going to mention, um, I'm going to be up in Ipswich tonight uh, at the Tide, Time and Tide Gallery, and I'll be playing up there with uh, Andy Hollinger, on, he's going to be accompanying me on mandola and guitar, and for anybody that's in the Somerville area, uh, I've been uh, doing a residency over at the precinct on Monday nights, and it's been... Uh, a fantastic time. I'm playing with my band, the Roots Attached Review Band, and I've invited different musical friends of mine to come and uh, and play. And uh, it's the, the music's just been amazing. And this week, Brendan Hogan's going to be playing, who, if you haven't heard him, is a fantastic acoustic guitar player, a, a singer-songwriter. And also, Julie Dougherty will be playing with her band, and she's uh, invited Taylor Armading to play mandolin, um, so that'll be great, uh, of Northern Lights, uh, you know, uh, fame. So it's going to be, and I'll be there with my band. So it's going to be a great, a great night of music. So I hope, um, if you have a chance, uh, there'll be two more Mondays I'll be doing there, and the next week uh, I'll be there as well. So thank you so much. The air is sweet down by the water. Where?
Gotta learn to cross that river of love. Gotta learn to cross that river of love. Thank you. Strong.